lot. <laughs> so, um, first of all, tell me, who are you? Who am I? My name is Marie Haller, and I am the host here at The Hub. Excellent. Yeah. And you are a repeat boot camper. Yes. So, tell me about that. Tell me, first of all, why, uh, why did you decide to do another round of, of boot camp? Um, I got a lot out of it the first time that I did it. Um, I felt like I, um, and it had been a while in between since the first one and this one, and I felt like um, even if I was just going to reinforce the skills I learned the first time, it would be good for me to get additional practice. Um, but what I found was that I, I felt like we covered new topics and that I felt like my skill set grew even more. Mm. So, um, yeah, I think I was just expecting to kind of brush up on some of the techniques and things that we had done before and get additional, you know, facilitated practice. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I felt like I learned new stuff. Yeah, it was pretty different for you because mm -hmm. the, you were one of the original boot campers. Right. Um, and so, uh, so that was only four weeks, and it was the first time doing it. Mm -hmm. So this was a larger group, and it was six right. weeks. So. Right, yeah. yeah. And I actually, so I missed two of the sessions this time. So it was still only four sessions for me, but it was over a longer period of time that I was sort of interacting with the group. So, right. right. Yeah. Did you have any specific things that you were hoping to, to practice or to learn this time around? I think I was hoping to get more practice, um, you know, facilitating meetings. I think by the end of the last uh, boot camp, we were practicing uh, facilitating leading a, a meeting, mm -hmm. and um, I felt like I could use more practice, you know, building on that. Mm -hmm. And um, but this time we covered different types of topics, yeah. so which was great, really great. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my initial thought when I was going in was, oh, I need, I would like more practice doing this. I don't get to practice it that much at work, you know, a little bit here and there, but, mm -hmm. um, nothing as intensive as this. Got so, it. yeah. Got it. So what were your big takeaways this time around? Um, let me see. A lot. Um... Obviously, last week's session was really impactful for me um, in terms of like having difficult conversations at work, um, but also facilitating that practice because I, um, you know, thinking about it afterwards, when we were doing the activities that you had designed in the session. Um, I didn't expect the outcome to be as powerful as it was. So just seeing how you can set up um, a session like that and have it be have such a powerful outcome for the people participating was really interesting for me. Mm -hmm. So from both sides, both personally and also just seeing it as um, how you had designed the the session, I thought was interesting and unexpected. So that was one takeaway, and um, I think uh, being able to be in dialogue with the other facilitators and the other people in the class was really great, because the first round it was just Anna and I, which was great, I didn't have any problem with it, it was just the two of us, it was more intimate, and that was great. Um, but it's a totally different experience having more voices around the table and different opinions and um, advice from everybody, different feedback. So I liked having that sort of all of those different voices at the table. Um, and so I was able to learn from just, you know, get, it's like crowdsourcing your learning. Right. <laughs> I was able to learn a lot more because I felt like there were so many different voices. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. Um, is there something you thought could have been better? Um, let me see. I think, um, I mean, the only thing that's hard for me is the time commitment, but it shouldn't be that way. But it's, it is, it's just, you know, um, a huge chunk of the week for six weeks. And like, I think that's a personal thing too, that I just need to be okay with 
being off site and and that my team will support me and it will be okay when I come back that there's not going to be you know tons of fire so I think that's almost more on me but in terms of um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I didn't really get anything out of I mean honestly every single time I felt like I learned a lot and it's like my brain is like firing on all cylinders by the end you know um, no, I really, I really don't think that there's anything, I like that there's a little flexibility, like if we missed a session, you tried to have a makeup session, I think that's great. Um, no, not from the sessions I attended, I mean, I don't know what the other ones were, but. I wanted to, um, to dig a little deeper in what you were saying in terms of time commitment, because mm -hmm. that seems to be sort of. Uh, just from a design perspective, it's, it's one of the unique things about boot camp mm. that it's weekly and it's a big chunk of time. Yeah. Um, and also that's, you know, when I talk to other people about it, um, that's, that's the one thing that people like are concerned about. Yeah. You know, they're like, wow, that's two hours a week. Plus you got to go back and forth. Plus, yeah. you know, there's stuff in between. Yeah. Um, can you say a little bit more about, uh, about just what that means for you yeah. sort of on a day-to-day -day basis and, and just the, the value that yeah. it's been? Well, when I'm thinking about it, it's like what would make it seem less of a huge commitment? And I'm wondering if there's a way to offer it like from four to six or something where it's more like closer to the end of the day or even in the morning like before I come to the office mm -hmm. so that um, like the middle of the afternoon like I'm leaving here at 2 30 every time to come and it feels like that's when like everything's just like getting f like firing here mm -hmm. so um, I don't know if that would make it easier to have it on one end of the day or the other so people can either not be attached to something already at the office before they come right. or you know four o'clock is like a more i don't know end of the day t time to right. to be somewhere um i i think it's just yeah i think it's just that to the, the middle of the day for some reason feels like there's just a lot going on and it's hard to kind of pull yourself away from got that it. Got it. so um that's my only kind of feedback on that but yeah I think um, once I am away and like once you get into the flow of it mm -hmm. you know a couple weeks in mm -hmm. after you've come once or twice it's like you realize like it's okay there's when I go back to work the next day it's fine it's not a big deal that I was gone yesterday afternoon right. so so I think it's just that initial like oh really six weeks I'm gonna be gone that had the whole afternoon, but then after the first like two sessions it's not a big deal. Things have not fallen apart. Yeah, you know? it's, yeah, yeah. So, so one of the things I, I try to do and I try to talk about in terms of design is um, you come in with like a work project, mm -hmm. right? And so you're doing stuff related to your work mm -hmm. just in sort of a different context. Right. Does that has that sort of held true for you in practice? Like, do you feel like mm -hmm. you're doing stuff that's work related? Absolutely, yeah, I really do. And I, the the biggest bonus for me, which I'm going to be sharing with my team at the end of it, is um, I don't have a lot of time for strategic thinking in my role right now because I don't have, you know, as we talked about, I don't have anyone really supporting me, and so there's a lot of front facing stuff that has to be done and because that's more urgent, the like strategic stuff gets kind of pushed off. So this several hours a week to just, just be thinking about designing meetings and um, how to have difficult conversations or whatever else, I mean, we're talking about, um, I feel like has moved the stuff that I'm working on forward in a much larger way than even if I had been sitting here planning it myself. Um, you know, especially if Jess has offered to come in and help us do a brainstorm about the education space and, you know, that stuff that, um, wouldn't have happened from me just sitting here working on it alone. So for me, I think it's been exponentially valuable and 
and I'm happy to, you know, share that with my team because I, I think they should know, like, you know, I've been gone and here's what I've been doing and you should know that it's actually been really impactful for, for us as a staff too. So um, that's been another reason why I, I don't feel guilty about leaving because it's like, I need to be working on this and if this is the way that I can do it, then great. Right. So. Right. So um, the question I asked the last time uh, which I think is like the hardest question. It's the hardest question for me. Uh -huh. It's uh, how would you describe change maker bootcamp to others? Mm -hmm. So I'm curious. So you've done it a second time now. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe it to other people? Yeah. Um, so I when I tell people where I'm going, I refer to it as a sort of facilitation course. Um, so uh, I explain to them that it's taught by someone who's really experienced in working and facilitating collaborative groups and um, that's kind of the, my my you know 10 second it's a class where I'm learning how to you know learning skills to, to better be a, facilitate meetings and um, or not even meetings just be a better facilitator and uh, and when I tell people that they're really interested in what that means and a lot of times people are like, I want to do that. <laughs> so, like I said, I already have some people that I want to refer to you because, awesome. yeah, I mean, we have a lot of consultants that work in this space that I think could find a lot of value in, in the skills that you're teaching. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, no, it's always, it's really great for me to hear other people describe what it is because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, that's, it's, it's interesting to see what the perceptions are and it helps mm -hmm. me kind of craft the story. So mm -hmm. that's very helpful. Mm -hmm. So, um, would you do it again? I would. I was, I was thinking about it, um, this whole week and I was just thinking about how much value, I mean, I thought I got a lot out of it the first time and I feel like I've gotten even more out of it this time. And I, I feel like that would continue to hold true. Um, and, and not only just the actual, um, materials and exercises and all of that, but, um, you know, the, the community of it, I think, um, because I have a large community here, but it's, it's a different type of community. And I think, um, I really have valued everyone's feedback and, and everyone's story and, and interacting and. And so I, I, that alone, just that network of people and support and ideas is really valuable too. So. And so you said there are some folks that you would recommend it to. Um, mm -hmm. What would you tell them? Um, what would I tell them when I recommend it? Yeah, like why, if, if you go up to someone and say, you know, you should really do this, why? Mm -hmm. What would be your reason for it? Um, I would say that you get to practice skills that you use all the time, but gen generally don't think about or work on. Um, and so, you know, that is one piece of it. Um, you get to sort of do a bigger deep dive into like an actual challenge you're facing at work. And also you get connected to a network of, of other people who are interested in the same work. Um, do you have any final thoughts? Anything uh, you haven't had a chance to share but you really want to get out there? No, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I've really been thinking about how much, how valuable I have found it. and. Uh, so I'm just really appreciative that I got connected with you in the first place. And I, I've been thinking about that and, you know, just how kind of serendipitous it was for, for me. So, Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing it again. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs>